We are in the medical district off of Charleston and Shadow Lane, and this is the site of one of the latest construction projects in Las Vegas. You can see the road here is all torn up, causing some serious backup for drivers, and it's also making it more difficult for first responders to access places like UMC, which is one of the largest hospitals in Las Vegas. When you pick up the phone and you want an ambulance, you want the ambulance there as quick as possible. And that's why Glenn Simpson with Community Ambulance says the agency has had to stack up on staffing. As road construction projects in Las Vegas ramp up, travel times are slowing down for first responders, sometimes impacting their ability to respond to emergencies quickly. We may find ourselves in situations where we are responding lights and sirens and people just can't get out of the way because of the gridlock. Because of that, Simpson says the agency has had to change the way they operate. From tracking the closures in effect and which detours to take, the preparation process is often time consuming and difficult to navigate. It certainly requires a lot more planning. To get around the congestion and keep their contracted response times under 11 minutes and 59 seconds, community ambulance has spread out their teams throughout the valley. They also work closely with their dispatchers to pinpoint who's closest and who will get their the fastest, taking traffic closures and construction into consideration. First responders are also trained to avoid streets that are known to be the busiest. It's very rare that you're going to see an ambulance move down Las Vegas Boulevard, for example, lights and sirens. We know naturally that's just a gridlocked area. Ambulances aren't using that as their main corridor. And when it comes to the construction in Las Vegas's medical district, UMC Hospital tells Channel 13 in a statement, their team has worked closely alongside the city of Las Vegas throughout the duration of this road work project to ensure their patients, visitors, and EMS partners maintain access to UMC's campus. And these first responders are in constant contact with agencies like Clark County Public Works and NDOT to make sure they're up to date with the latest road closures and how to navigate around them. Reporting in the Las Vegas Medical District, I'm Melissa Bethencourt.